Alright, so this video is going to show how to make a table of contents using Microsoft Word 2010. What you've probably got already is a document typed out. You might have headings like this one or titles. Uh, you probably have sections or chapters and then subsections or subchapters. Um, you might have them formatted already. I'm going to show you how to make quick styles um, so that you can automatically generate a table of contents. It's actually pretty simple. I see a lot of people struggle with it, but it's really simple. Um, so what you'll do is just come back up here. First things first, go to the left of your very first section. If you already haven't done this, hit Control Enter. And what that's going to do is just give you a blank page up here. So that'll be where we're going to put our table of contents. So come to your first section or chapter title, just highlight it. Format it how you want, so let's say I want this one to be bold and size 16 font because that looks like a chapter title for some reason. So what I'm going to do now is, I've still got this highlighted, I'm going to come up to heading 1 here in my styles group, right click it, and then click update heading 1 to match selection. Now what this does is not only is that saved in the data for this document as a section title for when it comes time to make a table of contents, but that also means if I go to my next one, section 2 here, I can just highlight it and then click heading 1, and it automatically formats it exactly like the one up here. So I'll do that for all my section titles. I think I've got one more here. That's probably the last one. I'm going to make this too long. And then, what we're going to do, come back up to my first section, come to the first subsection, and then just do the same thing here. I'm going to bold it. Maybe I want this one a talent size, size 14 font. Why not? So then, with it still highlighted, come up to heading 2, see what it wants to do down here you can see it changes it to the default I haven't clicked it yet it's just highlighting over it's showing me that's what it's going to look like but I don't want it to look like that because it's stupid so I right click heading 2 if it decides to work there we go and I hit update heading 2 to match selection so now I can go through all of my level 2 headings which are my subsections in this document highlight them and click heading to also you don't necessarily have to highlight you can just click in that line hit heading to um, I try to avoid that sometimes just because word can be fishy when it's making a table of contents I don't fully trust word but you know it, it gets the job done anyway so we've got all these section titles and subsections formatted how we want them and they're saved in Microsoft as these uh, heading 1 and heading 2. So what I'm going to do now is come up to that blank page at the very top that I had made earlier. Just click there so I'm in the upper left hand corner. And then what I'm going to do is, whoops, I'm going to come to references. And then it's the references tab up here at the top. And then you click table of contents. And my computer is going slow and then you can either click contents or table of contents you can also change what that says later if you want to and then there's this one here this table of contents that you're manually typing stuff in I avoid that one I usually do the second one here table of contents I just I don't know, traditionally it's called table it makes sense to me so if you insert that you can see here it's pulling my section one subsections all these things that I just created and what I do is as I type my document and I add more of these headings I can just come back up here right click this and hit update table and I can update the entire table I know that doesn't mean much out of context but I'll show you how to do that in a sec um, one thing I like to do is take this table of contents heading right there 
Uh, it's going to default this text to Times New Roman and this text to Cambria. I switch that over to Times New Roman or whatever my, my uh, headings are generally. And I make it black font because once again, Microsoft wants everything to be blue for whatever reason. So what I do now, so I've got my table of contents. If I wanted to have extra space between my heading and my other sections, I can do that. But now, I know what you're thinking. What happens if I switch, if I add in extra chapters in here anywhere? Or if I maybe change the page, the page format? Uh, it'll update with those. I'll show you that here now. If I can get my computer to cooperate. So let's say I add in another subsection under the first section here. I come down here, and I've got a subsection X. It's got some content under it. So, and let's say I want section 2 to start on a new page. So I've completely changed what section, what page all these sections occur on. I need to come up and go to subsection X and make that a heading 2. Now what you'll see is if I come up here, click in my table of contents. You don't have to right click. I goofed earlier, but you can just click update table. Update the entire table. That's going to add any new entries and update the page numbers click OK and you can see subsection X popped up here. Now let's say I want page numbers in the header for some reason and let's say I put a page number uh, top of the page on the right side here and let's say that I want it I want it to start at 5 for whatever reason. So it starts at 5 and you can see my table of contents didn't update. Yeah my page numbers updated but my table of contents didn't. Once again you just click inside there hit update entire table. Okay and look at that. Like magic. And yeah that's, uh, that's how to build a simple table of contents using Microsoft Office Word 2010. This would also work in 2007 or 2013, I would imagine. I don't have 2013, but it didn't look like they changed too much uh, functionally. Just the layout is a lot different. They want you to uh, give them more of your personal contact information for whatever reason. So yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps.